She's proud of causing a scene in court. I'm not trying to make you smile, poking my cheeks, uh, and I told like you, damn, I look cute. There to see her sister, Jessica Kelly. <laughs> Blowing kisses in the camera. Crystal Kelly ended up getting kicked out. She blames the other two suspects for what's happened to Victoria. There's a piece of I'm going to get you, Michelle. Get out. Jessica's sister talks about it on the phone in a recorded jail conversation using curse words over and over. She talks about how one of the suspects, Fabian, avoided her. And then, oh boy, didn't even look at me. He, he kept his head down the whole time. He did not even stare in my direction. Police reports say Jessica and her cousin Fabian gave 10-year-old Victoria Martins meth before they raped and killed her while the little girl's mother, Michelle Martins, watched. Victoria's autopsy report didn't find meth in her system, but alcohol. I didn't know all of us were going to be in the courtroom. I just thought we were just going to walk in and walk out. You know what I mean? I didn't know it was going to be like that. Police may have said all three suspects were inside the apartment the night the little girl was murdered. But that doesn't mean they want to be together now in court. I as Jessica was about to appear before the judge, she fell down. She told her sister she was having trouble walking because her legs were shackled and she didn't have enough room to move. I couldn't catch myself. So I felt myself fall and I just went, oof. No, because that's on camera. She says her leg is still injured from sliding off a balcony when police showed up and found Victoria's body. I don't know why they had me shackled like that, though. You know what I mean? No one guy can't walk. Jessica also talks to friends about what happened in court about getting emotional when she saw her sister. My sister shaking me cry like yesterday, dude. What? Sister? my oh, so bad, dude. And there will be many more court appearances before the three actually have their separate trials. In the meantime, Jessica spends a lot of time in jail talking to her kids. She has two of them, but other relatives have been raising them for years. Target 7 is learning more about why. That's tomorrow night at 10.